Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Lurgy. Yeah, he's eating candy canes today. He's already had breakfast. Right? And I'm just drinking some coffee. Anyway, alright. Tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Alright, in the chapel. Stir up the gift of God, which is in thee. And it comes from 2 Timothy 1 6. And of course, with Easter coming, you guys just be kind to each other. Make sure that you're beating karma, I guess. You know, what goes around comes around. So be nice, be friendly. Stir up the love of God that's in you. So, I'd be like this all the time, folks. And as a mom, put the fear of God in them. Just saying. All right. So there's in the chapel. Um, moving on to in the barn stalls. It was an interesting night, wasn't it? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I have a little clip that I took. It doesn't have great um, lighting, but I'm going to put that in right here. Alright, so Fuzzy's first up. So, it's kind of an active night in the barn. Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to rain. We're going to get some of the um, large breeds done. And the goat's done. Over here we've got Patch and Carrie, right? And then we've got the Angoras. Um, two of them are still out on the pasture. We'll get to them. And then we've got Miss uh, Fig, who's over here in labor. Yes, we're watching her. And then let's see back here. I know you can't see very well, but her, she's back here with her two babies and Reba. So full barn tonight. And we're going to see about getting us some shearing done. Alright. So as you can see, Reba and her, she and her babies are in there. Which are in there all the time because Reba's still being fed. Her bowels are still really loose. Just trying to get her leveled out. Um, her, she's in there because I'm scared to leave her on the pasture with the littlest baby at night. She, she doesn't answer her. Um... So they come in every night. Oh, it's not blue yet. Okay, it's not going to be blue. Those aren't the blue candy canes. They're multicolored. It will be blue. Just watch. Okay. Anyway, so they were in there. Um, and yeah, it's shearing season. So um, some of our girls are starting to pant. And even though it gets cooler at night, it's time to start, correct? Mm -hmm. And who else was in the barn stalls with us? Because we were shearing, and Fig. she has a long labor that makes me worried every year. Does she not? Mm -hmm. She will start showing signs of labor. I like, think she's just a wuss. You think? Yeah. It took her, I got her in the barn, because I knew she was showing signs of labor at 7 when you got mm -hmm. home, right? Mm -hmm. And I had noticed it before that, but not very long, like maybe 30 minutes I had been watching her. So, um, we got her in the barn at 7, and she didn't have them until, what, 3.30 this morning? It was midnight at 3.30. We left at midnight, and then you were supposed to get up at 2. He was going to check her in two hours. He says, you know, it's not really progressing. She hadn't even dilated all the way. He says, give her another two hours before I, I never start. Heard my alarm. He never heard his alarm, so at 3.30, I jumped up, and I was like, oh, my gosh. And so we went out there, and they were. She was cleaning them off and doing her thing, and they were already kind of up. Shetlands bounce up like they hit the ground, and then they're standing within minutes. And I don't mean ten minutes. I mean like how many minutes, son? Put me like that. Mm -hmm. One or two. Five. Maybe five. It, they don't. Um, they're bouncy. They're bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So. She had two little white ones, a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. and they're being named. We have them on Facebook as we're recording this, so I don't know. So it was an interesting night. Um, and then this whole week has been kind of interesting. We, RJ got called away and left everything up, so I went and turned it out my style. Found out we were concerned about bidet, 
and she's really thin this year and we knew she was older because she's like what a 2009 model yeah so she's like nine years old you know so that's old for a cow okay um i know they can live up to be 20 but she's still birthing at nine most people around here only keep them what five and then they age out of anything of being aged so anyway she's getting older and she has those babies but what happened when i turned her back out on the pasture she's raising two there's another red calf that is not hers that she allows to suck so it's like she's raising twins she's a beef cow and she's not equipped with enough milk really to do that is she mm -hmm. so the more they suck the more that she gets sucked on so we redid um for one night i had just longhorn and bidet up because i could handle them and get them by myself um rj did have to help me sort off longhorn she didn't want to sort off from her babies but he came home just to leave again he was here what maybe 30 minutes and he helped me sort her and get her and then i hate him and fed those two just to keep them away from their babies so um longhorn is dried up but her baby still tries to suck we just separated her off so she should start to look a little bit better she is a few years younger than bidet but still getting up there in years um but then the next day rj came home we shuffled everything around correct mm -hmm. we've got one little calf that's the bottle calf that was in the barn and her little buddy that doesn't get around very good we're not talking about gordy there's another one that just kind of stiff in the back we're not sure and then um another one that just doesn't fit in out there it gets pushed around and doesn't get enough food so it kind of bullies these it's like in between the two but we've got three calves up here at the house the rest of them that need to be stay off mom's pulled and in another pen and everything else is out on the pasture correct mm -hmm. so we did this cattle shuffle let's just put it that way for this reason and that reason and then murphy got in trouble and we needed something to put him in line and so who did we put with him ginger ginger she is small because she's a wild donkey but she doesn't take any guff off of him and he needed to be lined out correct mm -hmm. he was just getting to be a bully and now he kind of got whooped and she <laughs> she don't let him get away with anything she kicks him but it wouldn't be like a horse kicking at him you know because that's how they fuss is is kick and bite at each other he bites at her a lot but she'll kick and put him in his place and her kick is a heck of a lot less than that big donkey that we've got out there or because murphy's the miniature so he needed to be put in his place, and that happened. So him and Ginger are now buddies because Ginger keeps him mm -hmm. alive, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so anything else going on? See, look, it's bluish. It doesn't even look blue. <laughs> anyway, all right, mending fences. A lot of little things worked on, right? But nothing major, correct? Yes or no? Well, you did fix um, somebody else's pickup. Tell them about yeah. Carl. I uh, do some work for an older gentleman. He's that probably belongs 80. in the farmhouse though, because oh. it's not really ours. He did keep track. We'll just go on and go from there. Um, what else did we fix? Anything? No. Okay. Um, the water table, but that goes in the yarn farm or in the field. Keep going, mom. Skip. All going. right, yarn farm. Quit shaking the camera. Yarn Farm. We've started advertising for Spring on the Farm. We've got it every place. Come on, quit. It's awesome looking. <laughs> okay, see? it's irritating to those watching it. And you don't have to answer all the YouTube comments. Mm. Anyway. Alright, so. We've started advertising for Spring on the Farm. Correct. We've set all of our dates. And what did you start last night from the video they could see? Uh, sharing. Say excuse you. Excuse me. There's no excuse for him, is there? Uh, so we started shearing. Now, we did try one thing that we thought might work and be less stressful on the sheep. And we don't like it and it won't happen again. And that's skipping the fall shearing, correct? Yep. The goats 
they're getting older and they, they just can't take it. Um, I thought if we flipped it because we were shearing them right as the weather was turning colder. But yeah, we need to do it in September when it's still warm. That way they get September, October's growth on them before it really starts getting cold in November. So, but people up north had already told us only shear once a year on the goats and the Shetlands. And so we tried it once and you know how we are. We'll try something once and it, if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. We just won't do it. Um, all right. Anything else? Oh, I know what you forgot in the field. I'm making the cold. <laughs> I, I know what you forgot in the barn stalls. What? Didn't you get a couple of show sheep ready? The contest winner on show sheet. Yep. What'd you do? Uh, Dr. Phil. Yep. And? Fan the old boy. And? Um, first round of shots. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting those two that we've chose for her ready to go. Um, that way when they're ready to wean, she can come get them, right? Yeah. All what right. we didn't do last night. What? We didn't knock the tails to the lamb for the mamas we sheared. Okay. <laughs> I know. My system was falling down our job. I was tired. I'd worked all day. All right. So in the field, what did you do for the garden, son? Uh, What'd you make? Uh, What'd you help me make? Oh, the thingy majigger, folks. It's a pretty neat little thingy majigger. If you're not 20 and you can actually get it to work right, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? A water table. Yep. Out of junk recycled we had planned to make one out of pvc pipe and god threw some trash on the right away we went to clean up the right away <coughs> and uh, it was all the rest of parts that we needed plus what we had so we didn't purchase anything did we and we actually got the stripes it come on are you done if it weren't for the camera amusing him, he wouldn't be podcasting, I guess. I don't know. I'd be over here going this. Look, what is this hair on your head? It's sticking down to your face. Makes it look like you got straw in your hair or something. It's his hat. It's his old work hat. So lot. you made yeah. that, right? Um, People die. <laughs> and then you found that, that other stuff on there, and I started to make a chain link border. I've got to get some dirt. Um, we got to get the tractor running, but... We have another cold snap that came in today, and it went bam, and brought some rain too, which we need the rain, so I'm not complaining, but so far it's just drizzled and been cold. Anyway, so we've got that done. <sighs> Don't get him in my face. Moose is feeling better for those that follow him on Facebook. I don't know what he got. They said it was a large intestine issue because of, I guess you can diagnose it by what is going on with him. So, and the color of the diarrhea. And so when we called the vet, it was like, yeah, he'll be fine. If he's not back to being normal in a few days. Look at this tail going. Look at that. He's fine. Look at that yeah, little yeah, tail. Yeah, yeah, Turn him away. Nobody wants to see that. Okay. All right. Moose, knock it off. Go lay down. He's at, a camera hog. There can't be two of those on here. Yeah, by the way, you need to be over there. Uh -huh. Okay, so anyway, um, we got the water table done and staked down into the ground. Uh, we had toys in there. Um, I put in some big rocks so they have things that sink. We use part of the noodle to make things that float. And basically, there's some sand toys in there. Um, I need to find like some discs of wood or something. So anytime I say I'm going to the pe beach, you guys know where to find me. There you go. So, um, also, there was some debate on Facebook and stuff about us staking it down mm -hmm. and why we were asked a question why we chose to go with water because the mosquitoes could get in it. Well, first off, our tub has a top. <coughs> so, it will have water in it when there's people out there, probably not all the time. Um, but, and, and we're only talking like this much water. We're not putting tons and tons of water in there. You know, the whole dish is only like that deep. So we're talking half of it and that's it. Um, less than a bucket full. Pretty much. But, um, and we'll probably have a bucket of water sitting out there with it when we have people utilizing it. Um, but we chose to do that other than sand because if the top gets left off of it, 
Okay, I'm just saying, um, there's kids that come here and I'll ask, did you clean up? They say yes, but not always, right? Right. If the top gets left off of it, the cats are gonna get in there and poop, okay? It's just a given, it's a sandbox at that point. If there's water in it, okay, the mosquitoes are gonna get it, but I can dump it, you know what I mean? I can just dump it and refill it. If I have to keep going and getting sand, that gets expensive. Um, so I'm thinking that, you know, the whole dumping it thing will be fine. But we're hoping that the lid is going yeah, to keep everything. Uh-oh, you better call him back. Hang Dad went to go get some goat stuff for us at the local feed store. So anyway, that's in the fields. I still have to mow out there, but, you know. It is what it is. I bet you he accidentally got out. But, <clears throat> so, anyway, um, it's staked down. We're going to wait and see what the wind does. I may have put a brick on it to keep the lid securely in place, but we'll see about that, too. Um, I also took off the tarps off of the garden, and I have it ready. I started some seeds um, yesterday. I can't find my spray bottle to wet them, so I kind of had to shake my hand over a bucket to kind of make it drizzle. <laughs> so I didn't wash my seeds. But anyway, I did start some seeds in that new greenhouse that we have. It's sitting up in the barn. Um, I'm trying to think what else I did. did a lot of herbs, and I'm hoping that if I can get the herbs um, going, then the kids can plant those instead of seeds into the grow tower on the grow tower day. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, like I said, it is what it is. All right. In the farmhouse. Uh, oh. What's the matter? But it's cheaper to buy, the, it's cheaper for the money, right? How much? Okay, guys, we're going to get out here and come back. So. Okay, so dad and math didn't work too good. We sent him to get <laughs> no. we sent him to get a bag of stuff that's supposed to be a six pound bag and you feed a pound per head. And we told him if there was another one like it that was cheaper or whatever, well, they had a smaller bag and you only feed half a pound, so it all comes out to be a little bit cheaper on me, but the same stuff you just feed less of it. You know, so anyway. I he didn't do the math, and he called RJ to figure out which one he was supposed to buy. Math. And made him do the math. So, uh, anyway, so where were we? Going into in the farmhouse. That's why I stopped where I, I did. I was getting a drink for my coconut. <sighs> okay, in the farmhouse. What did you do? I didn't get one of those little umbrellas. No. What did you do? Because it's kind of in the fields. You fixed an old truck. So, start yes. with that. Well, let's see. Friday, I went to go work some cows. It's supposed to be a real simple job. You know, be done by noon kind of thing. Now, wait. This man is how old? 80-something. 80-something. 84. I said 80-something. Oh. He, he's quite old. We'll put it that way. Yes. Um, and he's got 50, 60 head of cows. Mm -hmm. and but that's all he does. Yep, that's all he's got. Just... Got his cows, takes care of them. Um, he bought some land out there. Yeah, he's got like 160, 200 acres, something like that. Which is perfect for the herd he's got, right? Yep, he's doing good. He's uh, taking care of his cows. He called me to help work cows. Cause he was going to give them all around the shots and stuff, and he just needed somebody to help sort and, okay. uh, and keep cattle going down the alleyway <laughs> so he could give them shots. He so. has working shoots and stuff. It's not yep. like he's not equipped to do the job right so you get out there and you work the cattle right yeah get the cattle work we're done noon 11 30 i mean real easy job like what he said just simple okay. easy da 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 and didn't uh, even have to take a horse no didn't even have to take a horse he had them all caught with his old feed truck just drove out there and they all come in yeah but we, we waited on two stragglers we had to do it two stragglers okay. i walked behind them <laughs> yeah they're not <laughs> the, vicious they're, or they're anything. big teddy bears yeah, he uh, takes care of them. Yeah, okay. they're all real tame. So, uh, after working the cattle, he was 
Hey, can uh, you see if you bolt the starter on my truck? All right, yeah. A starter is not hard. It's like three yeah, bolts, two bolts, a couple of wires. Wire. Yeah, um, we've changed out ours on the tractor several times. Mm -hmm. Just it, it's a sip, simple little thing. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I'm not a mechanic, but I can try. Well, I try to get it bolted up there, and it won't fit. Turn it around, flip flop it, still won't fit. Keep fighting with it. I can't get it to fit. So I call my buddy Joe. Good old Joe. Eight. He says, "We have the wrong starter." <laughs> so he calls, talks to the people where we got this, where the older gentleman gets the starter, which isn't anywhere I use. No, it was a store he uses. It's a store he uses. And it's used. like thirty minutes away. Yeah, it wasn't even really a close store. It was just. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. He'd been eight days without a pickup in the middle of nowhere. I yeah, mean, he's, he's not, out in the sticks. He's out in the sticks. He had to have his neighbor take him to go get food. And while his neighbor he was out. He had to take him to make his ranch payment. Yeah, he had RJ go do his banking for him. You know, take him to go do his banking for him. Um, mm -hmm. He went where that other gentleman was headed when he got his groceries, which was Bartlesville. And there was an automotive store, so he stopped and said, Hey, can I get my starter too? Okay, fine. So they do business there. The guy swears to him it's the right one. It wasn't. It wasn't. He goes back home. He tried how many times to put that starter on? Three or four. He got he, he later in the truck so long one day he got stuck. He was physically so exhausted that he couldn't pull himself out. He had to call his neighbor to come pull him out. And keep in mind, folks, we don't have a working 911 system. This man would have laid out there and died if it wasn't for his neighbor coming to get him. Yeah. Um, it, it's not a good situation. Yeah. So, so, to make a long story short, how many fourth I, starter fit? Yes. I went we got quit dealing with the store he did. The first yeah. one you went to his store, blah, 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 back. Then I took it and returned it, got some money, and went to another store and got the right one. And got it with a lifetime warranty. <laughs> so, he never has to pay for another starter, right? Yep. Um, and then the next morning, you did what? Went out there and put it on. I went it took me all afternoon we were, to find the right one. Yeah, it took him all afternoon to find the right one on Friday. And then Saturday, Friday night, when he came home, he was exhausted. He's like, Mom, I just don't know. We ran to Coffeeville. We went to my parts store. They take care of me, don't they? Lifetime warranty. We told him exactly how much money the man had left over. And he says, we will discount it a little bit because this is not the first time this has happened through that other store. And we will just fix it for him when they heard the story that we were on our fourth starter. Mm -hmm. um, then we got that. I went and picked up some Walmart donuts. They're like $4 a dozen for those glazed things. And they took donuts and stuff. And I say they because Dad went back out there with him to have an extra set of hands. Yeah. Um, so he wouldn't try to get in his truck with me. Yeah, it, we didn't want the old man getting them in there. Carl's a great guy, but he's frustrated. RJ says he gave him a bucket and said, sit right there. We'll let you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then they got up underneath there. That sucker bolted right on and yeah, had, it, like had 10 it minutes. running in like 10 minutes. So we sent food out there with him. Um, now he can get around, and that's the thing, is he can get to and from town. He can get his medicines picked up. He can get his banking done. Um, he can get groceries mm -hmm. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. But apparently he's been out there stranded for about eight days um, relying on a neighbor. When he stopped by, said, hey, is there any way? You know what I mean? He, he has a phone. He just yeah. doesn't really call. RJ got on to him and said, you should have called me. You know. And he goes, well, I don't want to be a burden. So... Anyway, that was a good thing, right? Yep. I've been working on my peg loom, right? That's kind of in the porch, on the porch, huh? Mm -hmm. I've been working on my peg loom. Um, I had it half set up the way I wanted it. And what happens? Um, um, uh, uh. Why'd you shove that whole thing in your mouth? So I didn't have to say it. <laughs> His... Rascal knocked it down say the least mm -hmm. I want the pegs to fit in the best ones and so I was going to set it up the way I want it so, and then so that I know which pegs fit best in each hole I was going to label them A, B, C, D and just 
you know, or one, two, three, so I'd know what order to put the pegs in. Um, and sanding them down makes them not perfect, so I'm kind of watching and, and getting them in the best fit. Because I'm not a woodworker and those holes are not perfect and they're not all exactly the same depth. They're not, you know, the the pegs that I have. I had RJ cut them and some of them went cattywampus, so I tried to sand them flat. They're semi-flat. It'll work for what I want, okay? And for having less than 10 bucks in it, if you've ever tried to buy a peg loom, you'll know that's a good price, right? Right? So, um, I've been working on that. Oh, get my rug that I've been working on. Which one? The one by the chair. I've been working on my hook latch, latch hook, whatever um, rug. And I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's getting Yeah, this is the one I was going to do. Yep, and RJ never did it. But you know how hard these things are to do? Yes, I do. I never Look. realized it was this hard. I still have um, a little over half to do. This is where it folds in half. Um, yeah, that's real technical, huh? But when I have, I'm doing it 10 at a time. So once I get the 10 rows, 10 more rows done, um, I do it a 10 by 10 section each way all the way across. So when I get it done, I will be over halfway. And I don't know, it's kind of showing up. There's an eye. There's a news. So, I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see it in there. The if you hold it yep. against the glass, so you can see it. You know, the glare takes it away. So, maybe I should. There we go. There we go. Okay, quick. Put yours down a little bit. There you go. All right. So, I am getting there. So, yeah. um, I will say this. I am so tired of the blue. Oh, my gosh. But, when I get to the bottom, I'll probably be tired of the green. <laughs> But it's getting there. I like it. Um, You're doing a good job, Mom. Yeah. You know he's probably going to steal it when I get it done. He won't say it, but he probably will. All right. So anything else going on that we've been doing? Um, Quick, Mom. You have rabbit ears. You can folk to the TV. Happy Easter. You can folk to the TV. Yeah. There has been some question about whether we're actually going to open April 1st. Are we, son? I don't know. What? We always open April 1st. Why wouldn't we this year? I don't know, just in case you changed your mind. No. The reason it's coming to question is because it's Easter. Aren't we open all holidays? Mm -hmm. Yep, and we have a big meal. So, um, it is what it is. We're farmers, we're here. We're open on all national, federal holidays and every other day of the year. Because Not animals. all, because we're closed seasonally. Animals got to eat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, anyway, all right. Anything else? No off to market. No. Anything. I work 365 days a year. Mean and mules. Well, minus really, minus a few days in there. Yeah, like when you're not home. Yeah. Well, let's just say somebody around here works 365 days a year. Not always the same person, but somebody. So. Anyway, all right. Anything else going on that we mm -hmm. think of? What? Yeah. I just got five candy canes left. <laughs> You're not going to sit here and eat all of those. Don't need that much sugar. Anyway, anything else going on? I'm trying to tell my turn blue. It's maybe a little. <laughs> all right, so say goodbye, blue face. Bye-bye, folks. Hope you have a good Yep, we will see you guys next time, next week, in the next video, whatever. Bye. Well, we won't see you, you'll see us. Yeah, true. Bye.